so much and I my my back would go out. Um, but I have a bone to pick with you. Tell me. You angered the stud of the sea. You angered Captain Lee. What did you do? Well, in my defense, I did not anger him. Aisha Scott on my podcast seems to have angered him. She was on and she was talking about, you know, we were talking about the season where, you know, Sandy came in to replace Captain Lee, you know, and she said, really, listen, Aisha, she didn't mean anything against it. But she said, well, I mean, I don't know for sure, but she said, well, you no, know, but listen. she also is very quirky and very funny. And first of all, she's Australian and the way the her the way she jokes and the way she talks, she uses some really funny language. Yeah, like I never heard of an a salty sea dog before. Maybe if you're a yachty or into yachting, it's another thing I don't know anything about. Apparently, I don't know anything about anything today. But okay. she said he, it's okay. he was Thank you. She said he was an old salty sea dog. And I mean, really what she was saying is he never should have even been on that season. Like he knows better. He could have injured someone. He wasn't well to even step on the boat. And so, you know, Sandy replacing him. Yeah, that's great. But really he never should have been there, which are, those are kind of harsh words, but she, that's her opinion. Well, I mean, who, I mean, the next thing I know, apparently Captain Lee listened to the episode because he's talking about it on his podcast and he is like, I welcome her. I will pay for her flight from wherever she is in the world. I will pay for her first class flight. She can come hang out with me at my home. I will let her know that I am not old, that I am still with it. He's like, maybe I'll see her at BravoCon. But he was stuck on the fact that she called him old. So well, she old, angered him. Yes. So old salty sea dog, I think, is not an offensive way to describe someone. Um, especially, you know, a captain and arr, and salty sea dog. Uh, my personal opinion was in that particular season she's talking about, um, yeah, he was having a lot of physical issues. And I think he had every right to try. But again, there are other people I I at risk. And we had just seen, remember, um, uh, what's her name got fired for having uh, Xanax that wasn't reported. Um, why am I blanking on her name? Hannah. Hannah. Hannah got fired for that. So it's a little, you know, this or that. Um, he did, when he knew he could not do it, step down. But I understand yeah. Aisha's point. I, I, I get it. It became different sets of rules. And I think, and I'm defending her right now. So, Captain Lee, if you're listening, this does not mean I am a huge fan of yours. I think you made all the right decisions. I think she has, first of all, calling him an old salty sea dog is so accurate. It doesn't really mean old. It means yeah. a captain who's had years and, you know, the, I, the, the sea is my mistress um kind of kind of thing but she was right to have her opinion and i think a lot of people felt that way but i think what he took offense to it was being called old where she didn't mean old but he is of a certain age if it had been reversed i, I think if he had not been him and he had watched that happen with another captain i think honestly he was so responsible and he is such a good captain I just wonder if he would have had the same feelings about the person even starting on the job. Um, yeah. Okay. Because he had a lot to say about, you know, what just happened with Captain Jason and removing Luke and Laura. Like, I think I, I agree with you, actually. Okay, but now you brought up Captain Jason. Who is not old or salty. I'm having issues. Are you distracted by many of his recent posts? I am upset by his recent posts. He is buying and leaning into the sex symbol thing. One of the reasons I loved Captain Jason was because he was so handsome, but so not unaware, but unfazed by it and didn't let it rule him. 
And he is so, and he's doing ads for shoes. And I understand making the ancillary money, but these thirst trap things, I feel like it's, it's literally upsetting to me because it's like, no, what made you so great was you were this handsome guy who was kind of goofy, who can't put in his own contact lenses. That was the best part of Australia was every morning, Aisha would have to go and put his contact lenses in for him. Like, you want him to be that guy. You want him to be the, oh, my God, he he doesn't play on how handsome he is or he doesn't realize and let his personality come through. And now he's all about, here I am in the cold plunge pool, and here I am with no shirt. And I, I, I want to start a petition saying, no, please don't be that person. Like, I'm person. I've had a very, very frustrating week, week or so with being – completely upset about this Taylor Swift thing and how it was handled and Captain and, and and Captain Jason. I am not okay. It's you're having, you know, I I get listen, I interview so many housewives, probably celebrities in the first season. And I literally say to them, like, don't change. And they all go on and on. We can listen to all the audio. It's out there. I'm not going to change it. I'm like, you are you are and they all come back like two or three years later i'm like i am speaking to this person like they have never been on this show who is this i i just think it's it happens i don't want captain jason walking around the boat flexing there was a whole thing about budgie smugglers in the last season which are like speedos that's what they call them in australia is budgie smugglers and they had to like force him into a pair because like the guys all had to do something. And he was like, never again. Now I feel like he's one step away from running down the beach and catching it on video. Like, no, stay your goofy self. That's part of what makes you so handsome. I keep seeing like those ice challenge, whatever he's doing. I mean, I'm even like, wow, what is going on here? Like, who is this? And I know that everyone's very into the cold plunge and the ice baths. I'm sorry. I don't think I'm capable of doing it. I could do it if I had to, but unless it's, you know, like they say like hydro, like that ice bath is supposed to. Well, define had to. Okay. Let me rephrase that. If it would take years off of my face, I will do whatever, basically, in addition to the shots that I get to my face on a regular basis. Short of that, I don't know why. I guess if we could raise money, sure. But if there was some way that they would say, this is the fountain of youth, just get in there, that I would do. If it really, truly worked. Uh, I'm shallow enough to do it. Also, big congrats to our friend, Captain Sandy. Yes. She and Leah engaged. I texted her. I said, send me a picture of the ring. She, They sent me a video of it. As I said to Sandy via text, nice work. Well played. Do you know, I mean, did she give you any details? Is the no, wedding but this it's, year? It's, the ring is big. Really? Bravo has been kind to Captain Sandy. The ring is substantial. Really? Okay, I'm going to have to go check this out. I saw it, but I didn't, like, pay attention. I oh, yeah, no, I got kept... a whole video of the oh, ring. Wow, okay. Substantial. All right, well, you know, what season is this for Captain Sandy? She filled in for Lee. Yeah, Lee, I think she's, yeah, they're going she's done the well. Season eight, but well done, ladies. Wishing them both the happiest, happiest, happiest of futures. And you brought up BravoCon. Sandy said to me, see you at BravoCon. And, you know, everyone always saying, I just want to go on record as saying neither you nor I have been invited to BravoCon. That and is I'm correct. not going to buy a ticket and just go walk around with like a pass. Like That is uh, correct. You and neither, n- neither think, you nor me. I think Bravo or one of the franchises or all of them should invite us to do things with them. Just putting that up because what do we always say? We can fix all these shows easily. Within, within a, a one hour. One production meeting. That's it. Okay, David, I love you. Can't wait for our new update because when we on our next update, some of the new seasons will have started. Some of the new seasons will have started. Our update after that will have been after BravoCon. But yeah, I mean, we have a lot of things coming back. We have Beverly Hills coming, Potomac. We, 
We got uh, a lot. Bra- uh, below deck med, all of them. We're going to be busy. Listen, we're not slowing down here. No, we're not. Love you. Love you. Talk to you soon. Wait, wait, wait. I have something else to say. I know. I always have something else to say. But listen, you guys know I've been having a lot of digestive issues lately. I've shared that with all of you throughout the past few weeks. I share a lot with you guys. But you know what I didn't know? I didn't know that these digestive issues were caused by potential toxins that are in these quote unquote healthy foods. I thought I was eating right. Oh my gosh. I have learned so much. We've been hearing about, you know, these healthy foods for years, right? Well, this potential toxin causes digestive issues, according to Dr. Gundry. He's a world-renowned cardiologist. And the harmful condition is affecting millions of people nationwide. It was affecting me. Now, here's the thing. There's so many warning signs that I now saw that I didn't realize weight gain, hello, I mean, that's all I talk about with you guys, fatigue, digestive discomfort, stiff joints, I've even had skin problems. And you know, listen, I'm not a spring chicken. So I just personally thought that all these things were happening because I was getting older. Well, Dr. Gundry explains that these side effects are often mistaken for normal signs of aging. Now I know. So listen, I can assure you that the damage is probably caused by these healthy foods, and it's far from normal. The good news is you can easily help fix the problem from your own home. It's very simple. You just have to know which foods are actually healthy and which contain this hidden potential toxin. It's that simple. So you can find this for yourself at gutcleanseprotocol.com slash velvet. That's gutcleanseprotocol.com slash velvet. You can just click on the link in the description below this video Because after years of research, Dr. Gundry has decided to release an informative video to the public free, it's free, and uninterrupted, you guys have to watch this, showcasing exactly which foods you need to avoid. Go to the video, gutcleanseprotocol.com slash velvet. I'm not trying to be dramatic. I know this is reality TV, but this really, really has changed my life. Click on the link below. Bye.